Yeah. 
in and the desire to fit in socially really takes on an increased importance. Um, you're going to see some mood swings and some irritability. Uh, really, they're trying to logic and reason and probably argue a little bit with you. Uh, they're very pleasure seeking. They're going to test your limits. They do it here with us too. And they're very focused on themselves. <laughs> That's very, very typical. Some of the other changes you're going to see, no more play dates. It's more hanging out. Uh, they really start to make their own plans. Um, we really recommend they shower every day. Some will want to do that on their own. Some will need gentle coaxing from you. Um, the drama is not just for the theater. So this is a real, real junior high day. We definitely have drama. Um, so we work through it here. We ask that you know you work through it with them. We talk through it a lot. Our doors are always open. We have daily conversations every day <laughs> about drama. Um, their friends are going to change. Yours might too. From elementary, it's just a very, very different when they come to junior high. Um, the kids can learn from teachers they don't like. So with switching periods so many times in the day, there's going to be teachers they naturally love, teachers that they always love. Um, so we just ask that you try to always be supportive of the teacher at home and talk positively um, because they really can take away really important things. Some teachers have been aren't their favorite or they don't care for, and it won't be the last time that they have a teacher that they have to work with. Um, Self-advocacy is key. This is one of the biggest takeaways, I think, because we want them to really learn to be their own advocates. And it's really a scaffolding process, right? Like what we expect of them in terms of advocating in sixth grade is different than eighth grade, but we want to teach them to be able to speak up for their needs, be able to communicate, talk to their teachers. So by the time that they go to Stevenson, they're very comfortable doing that and advocating for them. So what that could look like for sixth graders is if they got a grade on an assignment or they were that they didn't agree with or they were unclear about homework, rather than you reach out to the teacher, it could be encouraging them to email their teacher. Little things like that where you kind of just change your verbiage and start to encourage them to advocate will really make a big difference as they turn into junior high. And then we ask,
can watch their schedule, see, you know, where each of their classrooms are, make a plan, like you're gonna go from here to here, keep your morning things on you, put your afternoon stuff in the locker, switch at lunch, um, kind of help them with some of that executive functioning stuff. We'll help them with that too. Um, August 16th is our first day of school and a half day this year, and it's basically gonna be like one day orientation um, by grade level for the kids. So they will go to each of their classes, so they meet each of their teachers. Um, there will be time to help them with their lockers. We'll be answering questions. Um, we're going to really make sure that they feel comfortable um, here at the junior high, um, especially that first half day. So they're not going to come home like with homework and stuff like that. Um, and then in September, we'll have our open house. That is where families come into the school, and we'll learn more about our Thank you. 
steady navigation of public wrestling, uh, track, uh, scholastic bowl, golf, golf. Uh, yeah, so just to say that some it's a little bit different because the uh, clubs usually won't be five days a week. Clubs will be depending on what the club is, maybe one day a week, uh, but they'll meet all for the entire year, whereas sports will do that. A shorter season. Thank you. 